Welcome to the Investors Trading Academy, talking glossier financial terms and events. Our word of the day is poverty. Poverty is a severe constraint on normal living. It is forced reduction in consumption due to the insufficient income and menacing surrounding conditions. The poor are also a social group whose dimension depends on overall per capita GDP, but even more by inequality in income distribution. There are several levels of absolute poverty between the extreme poverty at one end and normality at the other. Relative poverty threshold is a percentage of the overall average in income or consumption in a society allowing for context-specific indications. The most extreme poverty leads to permanent and unescapable hunger, insufficient and unhealthy diet. Hunger and malnutrition weaken the body, the mind and the capability to work. International aid is directed towards countries where hunger is endemic, but there are usually insufficient and not timely to overcome the poverty trap and the dependence of the poor from the will of the donor. Throughout Throughout its life, the human being is subject to health risks. The poor is subject to them more often, more severely, and he's worse equipped to react to them. Disease can be food-borne, with a link to bad diet and contagious. Medicines and medical advice can be so costly that the poor spend too large a part of their meagre income for health or even cannot afford the best remedies. The welfare state is a collective response to health problems, but many poor countries have only limited coverage in welfare. Garments are used to protect the body from daily and seasonal distress, with the poor having only a limited set of garments, often inadequate in physical or social terms. Shelter is offered by houses and equivalent buildings, with poor lacking them altogether, such as homelessness. Educational goods, such as books, newspapers, magazines, can be skipped altogether from the culminative bundle and current consumption of the poor, with resulting lack of crucial information, including for democratic participation. Again, free public schools have been used in societies for level and cultural levels, but school success is dependent on family background unless strong countervailing mechanisms are in place.